Yeah, this is what they're holding. That's our, our greatest ambassador for our people. He was a Catholic priest that took the Paiutes under his arms. And in his fight and struggle to get to the Washington, D.C. on our behalf, with all the traveling and everything, he had a heart attack on the steps uh, of, of the house going to... I think it was toward the end. Toward the end, yeah, yeah while he was testifying. I had to find a picture of the tent. Mm -hmm. You have a painting of it? Oh, Remember? right here. Yeah, that's... Uh, this is later on. Oh. That's above the graveyard down there. The current uh, graveyard, okay. Yeah, downtown graveyard. Mm -hmm. We were stealing the CD line that time. The city limit seems mm -hmm. to city limit. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, let's see, that was in 1924, it says. Mm -hmm. This picture is 1924. Mm -hmm. And so where were people living before that? Before the government issued tents came in in about 1915. They were all scattered. Yeah, we, we, we left in different bands, uh, uh, more or less because of the treatment and the harsh conditions that we were um, mm -hmm. subject to. Mm -hmm. Graham, day-to-day -day life when you were growing up, was it really yeah. bad and tough, or was it good, or it was, there was how would you explain it? Just how did people treat you? It was bad. Yeah. People treat us real bad. You can't go to, I could say that, mm -hmm. <laughs> to the town and the people don't want let you eat in the restaurant. They can't, mm -hmm. you can't go to the movies because you're Indian, mm -hmm. you're dirty, they chase you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's called dirty, huh? Uh, <laughs> and uh, we had nothing. We go somewhere to find food. We go go behind the grocery stores. They throw away good stuff. That's where we find food to mm -hmm. eat. Mm -hmm. I think usually they work for ranchers too, didn't they, in the old days? Mom? Graham, you work for ranchers? Hardly. <laughs> Little bit? No job, no nothing. Mm -hmm. oh, you, when you live in old camp, there's no job, no nothing. You live on the little ration they give you. Mm -hmm. I think the government give them a little bit. Right. Yeah, a little food. We were about to starve. We go to school. They had a little day school there. We go to school, and in the morning we go to school. We had a little bit of gravy and rice to eat. Wow! <laughs> I never forget the gravy <laughs> and the rice. You never have gravy and rice again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's all we eat. Mm -hmm. Go to school. That was breakfast. <laughs> was that all day meal? And then or breakfast. The, and later on, the teacher, we had teachers about 1927, 28. Well, around there, we had teacher come in and teach us the little school there. Yeah, how to write, read and write. They learn how to write in the, mm -hmm. you know. Then I think that when Edward Hines come in, then a lot of Indians work for. The people in the old camp almost starved. Mm -hmm. All and they had to go out is go find rabbit to eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the people in town kill some rabbits, sell it to the people. Mm -hmm. For 25 cents a rabbit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you'd make blankets, huh? Rabbit blanket. Uh, <laughs> you can make in a blanket. Mm -hmm. How many rabbits take? Huh? How many rabbits does it take to make a blanket? A lot. 
I made one takes me about 60 rabbit. Well, first we live by the cemetery. Yeah. In the city line. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they chase us out to the out, outside. They found a place for us. It's an old dump we had to clean out and move in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the second. From there, we move here. I don't know where we're going to move from here. <laughs> when we get chased out? Chased out <laughs> all over. Totally How do you feel about Bundy? She's a little harder here. Right? Yeah. What? Well, I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a troublemaker. I yeah. Think. That's a that's how we all feel. Mm -hmm. Just raising heck. Mm -hmm. Shining a light on burns, and we don't really mm -hmm. want that sort of light on mm -hmm. our town. Mm 